or that um next day oh i'm so emotional because god is just so i'm just like this. hey guys hey welcome back to my channel i hope that you are doing well this is a complete different setting from what you're used to if you watch me you know i normally do makeup and so i'm pretty much always you know in a makeup kind of setting um but tonight i just wanted to pretty much come and share something that's on my heart um something that i feel like personally i deal with or personally i'm dealing with at the moment and god kind of just um, pretty much like opened my eyes to see what's going on and i was just like wow i think i just want to share this like i mean maybe it was just for me but i also know that i'm not the only one who goes through stuff like this i'm not the only one who thinks like this so i was like you know what i'm definitely gonna share this is why i made a youtube too pretty much just be as transparent as i can and just pretty much like be as real as i can so yeah. how many of us sabotage ourselves from the grace of god you know how many of us rely on our own strength you know how many of us lean on our own understanding like how many of us try to get stuff on our own try to figure stuff out on our own all because we feel like we are not worthy or we feel like we're not like righteous enough we're not holy enough we're not like living up to the standards of the church or living up to the standards of what we we were taught um how many of us just really just keep ourselves from god pulling our own little corner you know what i'm saying we, we just like pull ourselves out of God's presence because we feel like we are not like worthy enough. You know, um, how many of us do that? And I'm gonna share my personal story. Well, I personally do that. I found myself doing that, okay? So I think for the longest while, like I just feel as if my life um, has not been really like glorifying God the way that I would want it to or I, the way that I feel like God you would want my life to glorify him so it's like I've been struggling a little bit with my faith I think the fact that um, I haven't been going to church the way I used to I haven't been reading my word I haven't been praying and really seeking God and just kind of like you know I'm not really like 100% devoted to him it's I'm not currently building a solid relationship with God. You get what I'm saying? It's almost as if I'm relying on what I had before to carry me through, knowing that I need him now and I should be, you get what I'm saying? Like really pushing to get to know him more and just like really build that relationship that he requires of me. So because I haven't been doing all that I think that I need to do or all that he requires of me to do, um, it's like I pull myself away, right? Oh, we all do the regular thing. Like, oh, thank you for waking me up this morning, you know, in my right mind. Thank you, Jesus. Blah, blah, blah. But I haven't been like really praying and really seeking him. So because of that, whenever I do, you know, feel like I need him for something, um, which we all do need him for something. We need him every day, right? But whenever I feel like I need him, like... If something comes up or I'm in need of something or you know what I'm saying like whatever it is it's like almost as if I feel like I can't ask him you know I can't go to him I'm like well you know what God is not gonna like listen to me God is not gonna hear my prayers God is not gonna he's not listening you know he's he pretty much like he's like mad at me you know what I'm saying and it's like oh let me try to figure it out on my own you know or let me just not ask and just whatever is whatever and it's like he really pulled me together um a few weeks ago like maybe two three weeks ago i needed some stuff you know and at the moment i felt like you know it's just not the right time you know financially to really go out and get certain things i'm like you know we have to be you know smart or whatever so i was there but in my mind i was just like worrying it's like in my mind i was like dang like i wish i could get you know this thing um it was kind of like a need you know but i guess not a need but it's like oh dang like, i wish i could have it but right now is not the right time and i actually 
I think one morning I decided to do my devotion and I took up the Bible and that I think it was that same morning I was like really worrying it and I took the Bible up and it the Bible opened up pretty much on Matthew um, chapter 6 and if God cares so wonderfully for wild flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow he will certainly care for you why do you have so little faith and I was just like I was just like, well then God, well, I mean, my bad, you know. It's like, I know that you provide and you take care, you have been, you know, that's all you've been doing for me. God is like so good. Like he, like my entire life, obviously, he's the one that's been sustaining me, keeping me. I've never been in a situation where my bills were not paid. I, where I was, I didn't have food or I didn't have gas in my car or you know I'm saying like it's it's just crazy because it's like he he really does come through but it's so funny the enemy wants me to think that because I'm not praying right now I'm not, or I'm not really righteous right now that he's not gonna provide the little things the little small things that my little mind you know what I'm saying thinks that I need I feel like okay God won't really give me that because I'm not like living like the best righteous right life right now and he's just like girl like are you serious <laughs> I think the reason why I'm sharing this is because in my mind I was like well I'm not gonna really go to God and ask God for anything because I haven't been really living right and he's just like girl like ask me like why don't you have faith that even though you feel like you're not righteous or you feel like you're not like doing your best or you feel like you're not pleasing me why not have faith and believe that i'm god you know i'm so gracious that i'll take care of you even though you think you don't deserve it thing and i was just like so blown away i was just like oh my goodness so what i'm saying based on um that story is don't don't not pray and ask God for stuff or don't not pray and include him in your life or don't not include him in your plans because you feel like you're far from him you know what I'm saying because it's like you're far from him but he's not far from you like he's God he created you you know what I'm saying in my case he lives inside of me there's no separation there's no he's inside of me he's, He's with me 24 seven. Even if the Bible says like, even if I make my bed in hell, he's there. It makes sense to just like, ask God for whatever it is. Don't be afraid to ask. Like even if you find yourself in a situation where you're like, you know what, I'm not living right. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve his goodness. I don't deserve his mercies. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's why he died on a cross. Because he saw me and you today in the state that we're in and he's just like yo that's why i'm just i'm gonna give up my life because it's like she's gonna need my grace but his grace is sufficient though you get what i'm saying this is by no means and i hope no one takes what i'm saying wrong i'm not this is by no means saying go sin do whatever you want to do and still go to god you get what i'm saying but what i'm saying is he's gracious enough to look beyond your faults and to look beyond your weakness and still bless you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we are nothing without God. So I think we just have to remember like God is gracious and there is nothing that we can do that can separate us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us. So yeah, um, I'm just here to tell you and I'm telling myself also, this is by no means like I mean this is encouragement but it is this is also encouraging me and it's a reminder to me that you know what I'm saying God God wants to hear from us you know what I'm saying it doesn't matter what place you are in your life it doesn't matter how messed up you think you are it doesn't matter how um, how much of a liar you are it does God wants to hear you he, and he hears you and he sees you you know what I'm saying so it's like don't limit him you get what I'm saying? Don't let your sin 
um, separate you from him. It's like God does not think like us. God is so different. Like wants to be included in our lives. We need to remember that God's word can't lie. Like it doesn't matter what we do, his word cannot lie. And I know we were raised to think that God is like spiteful and petty. And it's like, if you do this, it's like tit for tat. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, anything that we do will be judged, blah, blah, blah. I know that, right? But I'm talking about the goodness of God and God's grace. There's nothing that you and I can do to let God be like, mm, I'm not blessing her today. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to provide. I'm going to take her job away. Trust me, it's not God. <laughs> if that's happening, it's not God. You get what I'm saying? So the scripture, Isaiah 55, verse 7 to 9, it says, Let the wicked leave behind his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord, and he will have compassion, mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts nor my ways your ways declares the Lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts and that's the scripture you know what I'm saying and that's my thing it's like challenge God because he says it in his word like he's like yo I don't think like you like me and you are not the same this is pretty much what he's saying is my ways are not your ways your thoughts are not my thoughts like we are not the same you know what I'm saying like I'm God and you're you you know what I'm saying you sit on it I'm gonna sit up here like God is just like girl or boy man woman like we are not the same because I'm God, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't have the same thought process. Don't live your life how you wanna live your life and just be all up in his face, asking for this, asking for that. But what I'm saying is don't let your insecurities and your weaknesses and your shortcomings and your, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, your human stuff, don't let that separate you from the love of God. You know, and I think that's just the whole point. Man, the way he snatched me up is like, girl, like, I know you're not living right. You think I don't know? He's like, you know, I know you're not doing what you're supposed to do. But do you think I'm just going to, like, leave you hanging? And you know what? Also, oh, the next part of the testimony is that I think it was that same day or that um, next day. Oh, I'm so emotional because God is just so, I'm just like, dang. That, it's either that same day or the next day, I was like talking to my aunt and she was just like, hey, like, um, pretty much like, girl, like, go make you such, 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 and I'll take care of such, such, such. And I was just like, I know to someone else, what I needed at that moment was, as I said, it wasn't anything like life threatening, right? Like my bills are paid, I'm fed, I'm good, like, I'm good. But there are certain things that I was like, oh, you know, I kind of want that. <laughs> And he was just like, girl, like, I care about every single part of your life. You know, even the simple things that you think I don't care about, like, I care. So don't let your little insecurities or your inequities or whatever it is that you want to call it, don't let that stop you from coming to me and asking me because I'm God. And right there and then I prayed and I was like, you know, I told him what I wanted and I was just like, ah, da, da. and boom, like right there and then like he came through and I'm just like, man, like God is so good. So I'm just saying to whoever is listening, whoever watched this video, um, trust God, you know, and put him to the test. Um, and just like, just fully trust him. I'm gonna leave this um this thing with like a few things that I came up with pretty much based on what I you know the whole thing and my whole experience and the first one is God is sovereign God is not small so don't try to put him in a box God's word cannot lie so prove him now God is too big to be petty okay god is too big to be petty don't you 
ever forget that humans we're petty and it's this new thing it's this new wave now that we like to be petty like but god is not petty you know god is too big too good too gracious god is too holy god is too righteous to be petty girl like god is not so a little bit out of my comfort zone but i feel like you know like why not share like like this is too good to not share you know what i'm saying like god literally revealed himself and his goodness is like why keep it to myself you guys thank you so much for watching i truly truly appreciate it um thank you to all my new subscribers i appreciate you guys so much welcome to my channel i hope you stick around get to know me and i hope that you you know enjoy my content don't forget to you know subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that i upload a new video and you know what i will see you in my next one bye